So how do you make something rotate? Well, you have to apply a force to it, but a force by itself is not enough. We did a new concept, the concept of torque. So here's my object. I'm going to have a hinge here, and I want to make it rotate around this hinge. Now let's say I apply a force here. Push. It's not making it rotate. But now let's say I apply the same force up here. Now it makes it rotate. If I apply the same force up here, it rotates a lot. So to make something rotate, you need a force, but the force has to be off-center. Another way to think of it, let's say I'm trying to make it something rotate by pushing here. And this is my hinge, push nearby, I have little effect, further and further away it has a bigger and bigger effect. So what we're looking at is some measurement of not just force, but how off-centered the force is. And that measurement is called torque. Now one way you can define torque is force times perpendicular distance. Now what does the perpendicular distance mean? Well the torque you can't just say the torque is so-and-so. You have to say the torque is such, such about a particular axis. The torque depends on the axis. Forces don't. Force is the same regardless of axis or anything like that. But torque, it matters what your axis is. So let's say our axis is here. And we're applying a force here. The perpendicular distance is take the force and extend the force vector as a long line and look along that line and see where it's closest to the hinge which will be about here and then get the distance from the hinge to that line so the line from the this is the force vector and this is the perpendicular distance it's going to be a right angle in here and the torque is defined as the magnitude of the force the strength of the force how many newtons it is times that perpendicular distance. So if you push here, perpendicular distance is going to be about that. If you push up here, again if you're pushing in the same direction, the vectors like this and the perpendicular distance will be the same. So for example, if I'm trying to make this rotate, it doesn't matter if I push here, here or here, in all cases the perpendicular distance is the length here. Let's say the hinge was here, and I push like that. What's the perpendicular distance? Well, again, look at this vector, draw an imaginary line all the way through it. It's going to be this distance along here, because that's this line up the side. I have a right angle here where it met force vector. So that's the first definition of torque. Take your force, if necessary, extend the force vector, work out the distance of the nearest point of that force line wherever it is to the axis and that will tell you the torque.